This is an AP radiograph in a young but skeletally mature patient of the right tibia and fibula. On the lateral aspect of the diaphysis of the mid-shaft tibia, there is an obvious area of smooth, regular cortical thickening. If we zoom into that area, we can examine it in more detail. The endosteum appears smooth and well preserved and there's no evidence of any scalloping. However, the periosteum appears chronically thickened. I say chronically because there's no evidence of any abrupt Codman's triangle, nor any destruction from an adjacent soft tissue tumour. However, if we look at the density of that sclerotic and thickened cortex, there is the appearance of a central lucent nidus. So far, the appearances are quite suggestive on plain film of an osteoid osteoma. This can be investigated further with MRI and CT studies. On the left, we see a T1 weighted study, and on the right, there is a T2 fat saturated study, which is probably in this instance a stir sequence. On the T1 study, we can once again appreciate the cortical thickening which is present by comparing the inner and outer cortices. Notice that there is no surrounding soft tissue tumour, just normal muscle signal. But a small focus at the centre of the lesion is consistent with a nidus. This nidus is also seen on the T2 fat sat study and both this nidus and the centre of the adjacent bone marrow demonstrate bright signal which is bone marrow edema. And we can confirm that this is bone marrow edema, firstly because it's bright on T2 fat saturated imaging, but also because if you notice, the bone marrow signal in the middle of the fibula is entirely normal and dark. Looking at a single slice on bone windows from this CT study, with axial slices through the tibia and fibula, we can see quite similar appearances. That cortical thickening is again appreciable. And in the middle of the sclerosed cortex, there is a very well demonstrated nidus. And CT, although not all that great for soft tissue, also confirms normal signal or normal uh, attenuation, should I say, in the surrounding muscle planes and no evidence of calcification. In all, all of the investigations we've looked at support the diagnosis of an osteoid osteoma. The osteoid osteoma is a benign bone lesion which affects men three times more frequently than women. It occurs in the long bones, such as the femur and the tibia, and it has a classical appearance of smooth sclerotic cortical thickening with a prominent central lucent nidus on the plane film, with corresponding appearances on the various other modalities commonly used, such as CT and MRI. Treatment should be carried out in a specialist centre, even though this is a benign lesion. And radiofrequency ablation is now a common procedure to treat this painful condition. An interesting characteristic of osteoid osteomas is that they often present with night pain which is relieved by prescribing the patient aspirin.